hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video will be part two of my homeschool organization if you did not watch part one the link will be listed in the description box below so you can go right over after you watch this video so let's get into the video hope you enjoy we have our homeschool storage unit i got this unit i think when we first moved to mississippi from home goods for $99 it is 100% real wood and I love it I got it for Micah's room never knowing that I was going to use it for the homeschool space and yeah this is just what I'm using right now for our homeschool space um, if we move or decide to move on we would definitely not be using this because I don't think it's big enough I want to be able to put those this thing right here and maybe some of the things out of here on this on the shelving unit but we shall see so all right we're going to go to our first area um as you can see in the back we have just a little clock i got this clock from target uh maybe last year yeah so i got this from target more than likely it was about three dollars no more than three dollars i really love this clock if you can get it for cheap i say get it and in this, this is also glass. Like I said, we are very careful. McKinley cannot yet reach this. So until she can reach it, for now, we're gonna keep it in glass. It just has some um, Play-Doh in it. I thought it'd be really cute, like I said, to display, display the colors, um, just like in these here. So just has Play-Doh in it. Um, right here, we have a few folders. We have uh i mean binders we have african-american studies we have science experiments foreign language and bible lessons moving on to the next area so we have just a few books um from curriculum i'm not going to go through all of them but these are reading books from abika this is what i'm going to be using for bible this year i really love this i shared this on my instagram probably last last year sometime but uh if you can, let me see. Let me show you guys. All right, I'm just gonna go to a certain areas. So it has like the different days and who are you trying to please? It has the Bible verses in it. It explains what uh, the Bible verse speaks of. And then it has like a daily prayer. Uh, you can't, it's not focusing. Oh, but yeah, it has a daily prayer in each one of them. Really love this book. So we will be using this for Bible this year. Okay, so I'm just trying to show you guys everything that's brand new because we have a mini haul going, going on here as well. So I also got uh, Ocean Anatomy and I got Nature Anatomy. You can find these books on Amazon and I really like the illustrations in these books so we will be using these for science they did a really awesome job on these books so that's nature anatomy uh, by julia rothman and it, it's actually a whole book set so this is the ocean anatomy book Right? so yeah I'm not going to go through any more of those I don't think no okay also um, this is a, a set of Melissa and Doug puzzles that I set here Michael still likes to do them so I let him do them so I just actually set these on here um, I put these in Ziploc bags so we, McKinley couldn't get them and put them in her mouth and it's easier for us to use. I use one of these containers to put our construction paper in um, just so it can just be easier and it wouldn't be everywhere and once again it goes with the whole color aesthetic. Easy peasy. Okay yeah there we are focus. So for our second shelf, we are gonna start here. It's only right. This is just a book container. Uh, we have some books that we'll be using um, through, with our curriculum. Um, solar system, 
fall butterfly i just got this one from amazon let's talk about body boundaries i really like this book i read it so um there'll be no question when micah started to ask me about this book i haven't let him read it yet but he will read it very 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 soon i just wanted it to be right time when he got ready to read it it's important to talk to your kids about um, right and wrong of the body and this book is going to help me let's talk about body boundaries so we have that little critter five minute stories and we have an older spelling book that he can still use by mcgraw hill all right so that's what that container is for then we have a united states of america puzzle also by melissa and doug and then we have a box it's like a little treasure box so i'm gonna take this down got this from hobby lobby got it for 50 percent off it was actually how much i think 19.99 19.99 got it for half off and no i got it for 40 percent off got a really good deal about 11 dollars so in this box um, we're going to do a reward system this year and I got a few toys from Target. I got some kinetic sand. At the end of each week, every Friday, he will get to pick one treat out of this box so i'm not sure how the reward system will work but that is the mindset that i have going into the whole reward system so when i figure it out i will let you guys know but like i said every friday he will get to pick a treat out of this box and he already thinks it's awesome so hey all right so we're going to keep that right there he's already told me which one he's going to get first so i know he's already excited all right got this from michael's i already showed you guys this in the hall like i said before um what i did was i went through and i labeled each one of the containers i took all of my flashcards out of the out of their boxes and i just labeled them i'm not going to take them out but um yeah you can see i have like our spanish Division money, presidents, United States, uh, multiplication. Well, maybe I will open it. So, I still have a good bit of cards to be honest. But this is just going to help me. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just going to help me. Um, this is going to help Micah help me when I need something. So, we're going to know. I, I left the brain busters in there. Let's go with something else. Let's go with the grammar cards. This goes with that grammar book that I showed you guys. Um, yeah, that goes with this book here. So yeah, we have the grammar cards. And all I did was take them out, put the cards inside the container, and bam, we have some organization going on. So they have the little slots if you can see. So they can just look really, really neat. Very minimal. Don't have to have everything out. I got this um, container set from, from Michael's $14.99, I think. I will also link this. Okay, and then our third shelf is nothing but McKinley's things. We already know that she's going to be down here tearing some things up throughout our school day. So, in here we only have like a little bear for her and the cutest little rattle. We have this little rattle by, I love this company, um, Living Textiles. Little girl taking the step. Okay, yeah, so I just decided to put, so I just decided to put her, two of her stuffed animals in there just things that she can play with. And I didn't take all of her toys. I got these containers from Target for $6. 
I got this from Target. It came with some little fish. Uh, yeah, with numbers on it. And she loves this set, actually. Yeah, I think it goes up to... Maybe it only goes up to six. But it goes with her wood toys. I really love it. And, oh, I never showed you this. I got this pug still in the plastic because she's not ready for this yet. But I will introduce her to it very, very early. It'll be way before she's three years old. It will be this year, to be honest, because I believe in her learning things at an early age without pushing it on her. So, anywho, like I said, it's still in the plastic. Hold up. Okay, yes, it was $5 from Target, and it has like a little tracing pin on the side. Really like it, so I don't know if you can see the whole little wood aesthetic thing that I did on each shelf. I was going to paint these, I was gonna paint this thing here, but I was like, oh no, we're gonna just put this on the shelf. So anywho, she, she doesn't bother that she did when I initially put it back here, but I just put it back there behind her other wood stuff and then these stacking cups I love these they came from is it mushy yeah but they were only $14.99 I got them off of Amazon you can look them up and they also have a different set of colors now but they're all still like the pastel color I really really love this and she loves to play with these too so this is McKinley's little area. All of her little wooden toys. Because I, like I said, I love the wood toys. And then this container is just a bunch of her little plastic toys that she plays with. 